Hey, Justin here, my service force. Uh, today I'd like to talk about combining tickets. Uh, so when you have a uh, technician or or multiple technicians uh, out on assignments to the same job site, um, you know, I'm going to show you how to take uh, the information off both those devices, those items that they sync back to the office, uh, the tickets and combine them into one invoice. So you just have one invoice for the site and not multiple invoices. Uh, so first, I'm going to come up to my invoices here and I'll pull up, uh, I'll pull up a site. So here we have uh, Andrew and, and Carolyn Mellonhead and I'll select on the details here in the ticket and invoice list. Uh, so what you'll see, you know, if this was uh, fresh, you know, what you would see from the the uh, uh, technicians from the field would be a bunch of these, like like these two uh, here, all right? Uh, and you may notice that that you you have uh, the in, added to invoice zero. The action is to close it. You have a status of open. So typically you would you would come in here. You'd select the technician. Um, you'd review it. Uh, make sure everything checks out. And okay, so that looks good. And you close the ticket. Uh, and then you go down through the uh, other tickets. So this is how you can have uh, multiple technicians working on a job site, syncing uh, different items they may add in their device. And then here back at the office, as you review the tickets and close them, you'll now have the option to add to an invoice. Uh, so what we'll do is um, we'll go ahead and we'll add it to number 843 right here. So I'll go select 843 and I'll add. And you'll see what invoice it's added to. So we'll go ahead and finish those out. And now in invoice 843, you'll have all the different uh, items from the, the other tickets in one invoice that you can sync. So you're not having to deal with multiple invoices. Now, if you say you accidentally created uh, multiple invoices and you wanted to correct that, um, there's, there's no problem there. All you have to do is delete the invoice and it will give you a confirmation. Do I want to delete this invoice? I'll say, yes, I do. It doesn't matter what's in there because what happens then when you delete that invoice is the ticket here will get triggered and open back up to be able to reassign it to the invoice you want. So I'll go ahead and I'll add that to 843. Uh, here I also have a couple extra invoices that you see the status is closed. So you see, I don't have this option to delete it. So no problem there. I can just go in to the invoice. I will go ahead and I'll, I'll open the invoice. So I have an item in here and you know, let's say I'm just want to combine this whole ticket uh, or all the different invoices on this site to one ticket. I'll just open this invoice and I'll hit back and then I'll have the option to delete it. So I'll do that one more time. So to combine all these into 843, we we'll wanna get rid of these. This one is closed. So to delete it, I just gotta open it back up, which I can go into the invoice, hit the open invoice. And just by being in an open status, I'll have the option to delete it. So I'll go ahead and I'll delete. I'll delete, hit OK, and now the tickets associated with that, I can go ahead and assign to ticket, uh, I'll delete that. Uh, 
add to 843. So now you see I've I've kind of cleaned that up quite a bit to many tickets into into one uh, invoice. I'll go through one more quick example that I had uh, set up here. This one I'll do by work order. I'll do a search by work order uh, of all the uh, tickets and invoices assigned to that. I'll select one. It actually doesn't matter which one I select because it'll take me to um, all the invoices associated with that work order. So again, if I want to uh, assign a ticket to an invoice, it comes in off the device fresh off in this status, open zero. All I got to do is close it, select the invoice I want to add it to. Let's say I'll just select this first one. I'll add this ticket to 943 and all the items that were in that ticket are now in the invoice. Um, to combine multiple invoices into one single easy invoice, I'll just delete the other invoices that I don't want. Hit delete. And if it's again in closed status, I will just open it. And I'll delete it. And that'll give me the option. It'll take me back a step basically to get to where I was, to where I can you know, put it to the invoice that I want. And then there we go. Every item from all these different invoices, or I'm sorry, tickets from the device, these different items that the technician put in is now in one single invoice here. And there you have it. If you have any questions, always email support at myserviceforce.com. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a like. Check out more videos on our YouTube channel. We're always adding more. And have a great day.